welcome back. I would like to first off commend YouTube for cutting off a good portion of part two of my video today. Thank, nice job, YouTube. I was, you know, talking about Farm and how Brad Childress, the exact parallel to last season, you know. But YouTube didn't seem to think that was important. Thanks, YouTube. LeBron James had an interview with GQ Magazine. GQ Magazine. And it talks about his, you know, his decision. You know, but I want you, I want to first read a couple of snippets from that article. And, I quote, and this is coming from LeBron James. And I quote, I dropped a pen. I hope I don't never go to jail. Sorry, LeBron did not say that. Okay, here's a quote from LeBron James. Quote, I don't ever, th and this is referring to Dan Gilbert because of his infamous letter in which he sacrificed his image. Dan Gilbert sacrificed his image naturally. Here's what LeBron said in response to that. And I quote, I don't ever think, I don't think he ever cared about LeBron. My mother always told me, you will see the light of people when they hit adversity. You get a good sense of their character. Me and my family have seen the character of that man. End quote. End quote, I should say. LeBron says this, LeBron says that. The third, third person, you know. I want to show you guys something. I want to show you guys something. Okay, over here, if you can see it, okay. This is, it's kind of hard to see here because the camera is, you know. This is a LeBron James poster. Now, figuratively, they was playing the Miami Heat, but that's not, <laughs> I'm not going to make analogies on that because that has no relevance to this. But I still support, you know, I still appreciate, I should say, what LeBron James did. The, get down here. I still support what he did the last seven years he was here in Cleveland. Let's not forget about that. I'm going to talk to the fans of Cleveland real quick. Let's not forget about what LeBron James did the last seven years. He does some great things. You know, I just wanted to show that. Show my appreciation to what LeBron James did. You know? It's like having an old girlfriend. You know, you had a bad breakup, but you appreciate when you go down the line, you appreciate what they done. You don't like how in it, but you appreciate what they done while they was with you. But that's not the point. The point is, you know, first off, I absolutely cringed. I, I think, when I read this quote, I think of the way LeBron James is quoting himself. And how he makes himself his own favorite topic. I think of, I'm a, I'm going to say this right now. I'm a, pro, I'm a pro wrestling fan. I'm a pro wrestling fan. I'm not afraid to admit that. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm a pro wrestling fan. And when I hear that, I think back to listening to them promos from The Rock or Stone Cold Steve Austin. You know, The Rock says, I'm going to lay the smack it down your candy. Woo! Family show, I can't finish that. <laughs> or Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> you know. Stunner. I think back to those. You know, but what's the difference between those two guys and LeBron James? Well, The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin played. And 
they, they play wrestling characters. They play characters. That's not actually not as part of their personalities. But that's not, you know, what they really do outside of what they have to do in the WWE. You know, that's just, they come to work, they entertain the fans by portraying their characters. That's when you refer to yourself in third person. And they did it quite well, too. That was, that was in the late 90s, early 2000s. Greatest era in pro wrestling history for that company. And actually, wrestling in general. Everybody watched wrestling back then. But that's when you refer to yourself in third person. LeBron James, Dan Gilbert never cared for LeBron James. Coming from LeBron James. Well, I can quite, I can say this. He's been playing for seven years. Right now, he can't go around and say, The champ is here! No. Can't do that. Can't do that. Mm -hmm. But I want to... When we come back, I want to... For those of you who are watching around the country, I want to explain the relationship between Cleveland and Akron. I want for the rest of you to understand. I want to explain the relationship between the two cities, the two areas. Because unless you're from those two areas, you probably won't understand what LeBron James is talking about. And the fact is, is that for the most part, in that subject matter, he was right. He was absolutely correct. How is he correct? I'll give you a little breakdown on the relationship between the two cities when we come back.